What's up, y'all? It's T-Biz here again, and um, yeah, I want to check out the Gary Zebrelios and the C110P, which we all know is Chopper, or basically Zeb and Chopper, um, two-pack Star Wars Hasbro. Uh, I'm stoked to get this, just mainly because I don't have Chopper. I do have, like, two other Zebs. I've got that one uh, mispacked figure two-pack set with that blue droid that looks like a droid from Episode One. And then I have another two pack with him, and I forget who else, if it's a stormtrooper or what, that came out. Was it earlier this year or whatever? But um, but yeah, but this one seems to suffer from wonky legs, so his his legs aren't like totally um cool, so he kind of stands weird. But other than that, I like Zeb. He looks cool. Of course, I have two other figures, so if I, you know I need to get one or open up one that doesn't have wonky legs, I have that option. But um, this one came with a little warped legs. But uh, but yeah, I was really stoked mainly just to get this with Chopper. And I like the uh, Zeb's uh, Gatling missile launcher thing. So it looks really cool. But um, yeah, I'm stoked to get Chopper. I don't think this little... I was hoping this little arm thing molded in here uh, would come out on Chopper. But it doesn't look like it does. Unless I'm just like, you know, don't have enough fingernails to pop it out. Or if it does pop out. But it doesn't look like it does. I think it would say it, you know, if it did. But I like Chopper. He just looks like a little mishmash of uh, crap. But he's a cool little droid. And I love him on the cartoon. Kind of wish he had the clicky thing going. Like the old R2. That'd be kind of nice. But um, yeah. He's cool. Sculpt's not bad. Colors are cool. And he just looks like a scrappy little droid like he is on the cartoon. And I'm sure they're going to put out some other... I don't know if they have, but put out another Chopper that has like maybe an arm that sticks out and stuff like that. It'd be kind of cool. And little plugs, you know, just like R2, like that one other R2 unit they had on uh, Rebels that I used to have back in the day. I don't think I have many more, but it was a cool little droid. Forgot its name, but I'm sure a lot of you guys know. But uh, there's Zeb's uh, blaster, or his like kind of rifle thing, which is pretty cool and unique to the show and to his character. Very cool piece. But I like this Gatling gun. It's kind of weird that they design it. I mean, it's cool. I think the what helps it out. Is that because uh, they don't give him any wrist articulation? You only have five points in this figure, and um, and so if you give him a gun like this, it's kind of weird for him to hold it. But they do make this bendable, so you can kind of uh, just uh, you know, it bends a little bit, so you can finagle it and to get it to uh, stick in his hand. So so he can actually hold it, you know. But other than that, the design's kind of weird, you know, because he's just only got, you know, he doesn't have any wrist articulation. But he can still hold it somewhat, so it's not too bad, as far as the complaint department goes. But, yeah, he looks cool with it. And, um, it's got, like, a cool laser blast missile, you know, in the middle, so it's pretty cool. And, uh, I'm not sure if this is, like, a friction device or what. I guess it would be. I'm not sure where the button is for this. It doesn't look like to be a button, but... Oh wait, yep, there it is, it's right there, there's the button, and man, this thing launches pretty hardcore, I've had a lot of different missile launchers, I think one of the most hardcore missile launchers I think I ever owned is one from uh, old Tonka Bandoi toy line called Spiral Zone, and I think the main leader bad guy has one of the most hardcore missile launchers I've ever owned or seen, but uh, yeah, the thing launches pretty hardcore, so um, hope nobody pokes an eye out with this thing, because it's, it's uh, pretty lethal. Pretty lethal, but pretty good, and it looks cool. And Zeb looks cool too. I always like the design of Zeb because it's that uh, Macquarie concept, somewhat of uh, Ochubaca, which is cool. And his colors just pop, and everything looks nice on him. And his gear kind of reminds me of uh, his armor and gear kind of reminds me of like Bosk or Dengar or somebody like that. So it's always really cool too, because it's kind of a little, you know, nod to that maybe. But, uh, yeah, he suffers from wonky leg syndrome, so it's kind of hard for him to stand. But this missile launcher Gatling gun thing is really nice, and I like it. You could probably pair it up with a clone trooper, too, if you wanted to, or a stormtrooper. But, yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, it fires really well. You can hear that pop on that plastic when it hits it. So, yeah, it is pretty, pretty cool. It's a good little set, and I like it. And so far, I haven't lost any missiles, so that's that's pretty cool, too. It's a, that is a plus. But yeah, this is a good, good set. And I really, really like it a lot. And I'm still wondering about the other set that I have. That I'm not going to show, but I have it on another video. With the, um, 
it comes with the other droid because that thing is rare and weird and just it's 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 some kind of weird mispack because it wasn't tampered with because me and my friend Elias we opened it out of the case so you know and if you want to find that video just look scroll down and you can find that video of that two pack and uh, here's him and his other gun pretty cool it's a neat gun I like it I think you could use it with other figures and stuff like that I think it has a cool option like that to be able to do that so it's cool it's not bad and I think for the price point you're paying for cool box you could put your figures back in if you wanted to you know and you're paying for cool art you're paying for uh, extra weapons and an extra figure so it's not it's not too bad of a deal really when you think about it and these inflated you know times of the 2015s which I wish was the 80s because it was a lot cheaper back in the 80s but maybe you know maybe it's it was just the same back then too just kind of different you know i don't know who knows but anyways um that's a look at the zeb and chopper two pack or otherwise known as garazeb aurelios and c110p chopper uh two pack from star wars hasbro yeah can't wait for that movie i'm gonna keep saying it on every video because uh i know we're all looking forward to it and i think speculation is just out the roof and just ridiculous and just i don't know it's it's getting to be too much everybody's speculating way too much and it's just everybody needs to just let it go and just take a deep breath and when you go see the movie go see the movie because you know you know for a fact it's going to be better than seeing little anakin and jar jar binks you know even though that movie's not bad that movie has its cool points it really does with like darth maul and qui-gon jinn a lot of the special CGI effects, those are really, really good. But I think I think we're going to be in for a treat. Um, I'm just keeping a positive, you know, mind frame on it. That and J.J. Abrams, I believe, you know, I think he's probably approaching this as a fan too. So I don't think he's going to want to just screw it up, you know. <laughs> and, um, and if they're throwing away expanded canon or expanded universe stuff and doing new stuff, then it's all, it's all expanded universe, man, from the, you know, or just... You know, from the imagination of people, since from the 80s comics, 70s, 80s comics, to the novels, to now, dude. You know, so just, just go with it. Star Wars, just use your imagination. That's what it's all about. Anyways, just use your imagination, have fun, and, and uh, you know, be one with the Force. But anyways, um, yeah, y'all have a good one. And yeah, obviously, may the Force be with y'all. And y'all have a good uh, rest of the day. All right, or night. Later, y'all.